Hi, this is Daniel from CR Kennedy, the Leica Icon distributors here in Australia. Today we're going to take a look at how to import and navigate an IFC file in Icon Build. Now first of all, we're going to be taking a look at a project file in the Icon Desktop Simulator. So we want to take a look and make sure that we have the correct license installed or switched on. So we begin by opening up the system option and scrolling down to active licenses. We make sure that icon build is turned on and layout objects is enabled. When we go back to home, we can see our layout objects app on the screen here. Now to import an IFC, we go import, green plus for new file, reference data for data that we're going to be referencing to, and our IFC file is currently stored on a USB drive in a folder called data. So if we choose removable disk E, we can now see our IFC file is available here. It's the same IFC file that we have in our USB drive. Now if we hit the little arrow here, uh, we can see all the different classes that are within this IFC. We can toggle these on and off for classes that aren't required in this but in this case we're going to use all of them and we hit the green tick import successful and if we go back to home and we open up the layout objects app we're now able to see our 3d ifc model we can click the orbit button to orbit around and the pan button to pan left and right now if we zoom right in we're able to take a look at exactly what we need we also have an elevation filter option here. So if we go to our information button, elevation filter, we can slide this bar up and down until we get to the required floor that we want to be working on. We hit our green tick to accept. And now we can zoom in and look at our building. Now, if we click any one of these elements, we're able to select them and take a look at our wall for examples. Or if we clear and we select the door, we end up taking a look at the door on its own. Now you're able to lay out all these individual points and lines once you select them. And if we take a look at the point on the corner, we're gonna get guidance to that point there. Thanks for watching, see you on the next video.